So this year is me and my first ever goalie stick when I was two years old. I only became a goalie full time about eight years later when I turned 10. But right now at 26 years old, I've spent so much time playing around with sticks and specifically trying to get the most out of my goal sticks. It's 2022, top of the line sticks are $300, $400 a piece in some cases. And in this video, I wanna share with you my five best hacks and tips for getting the most out of your stick. Let's begin. So hack number one is gonna be the most basic of all five, how to size a stick. There are theories and videos online about sizing a stick to your chin, in your stance or even the old, well, Carey Price uses a 25, so I'm gonna use a 25. Well, what I have found works best is sizing your stick in your butterfly. I take heat for this all the time, but your stick does not need to be on the ice covering the five hole at all times in your stance from your feet because it's not 1970 anymore. We don't make stick saves from our feet anymore. 95% of the game is played today in the butterfly. Now, I am six foot five, so I'm a tall guy. That's 195 centimeters if you're in Europe. And over the last two or three years, I've played around a lot with 23 inch paddles, 25, 26, 27 inch paddles. And what I have found works best for me is a 27 inch paddle that I then shave down to contour to my hand better, which is gonna give me about a 25 and a half inch paddle length. Now I'll explain more about this process later in the video, but I found that making stick saves in my butterfly, cradling the puck, pulling them in, corralling pucks in tight, all this mixed together is why I chose this length and it's all personal preference. I don't put any consideration into shaft length or puck handling because that may compromise the length that I actually need for making saves. If you want a longer shaft, you can simply install a plug to make it longer. If you want it shorter, then you can just cut the shaft down. It's simple as that. Hack number two here is cutting down your stick. Now, I know most parents are watching this already punching their phone screen because they're seeing this because I'm about to take a saw to a $350 stick. Hear me out. So I picked a 27 inch paddle because it allows me the length to make stick saves the way that I want to with the most control. I then shaved down the paddle to be more rounded because I found that it gives me more control of my hand and specifically for getting down on low blocker saves. The way that sticks are shaped today at retail really doesn't make any sense to me because the shape does not in any way, shape or form articulate the natural shape that, you're, that like the human hand would be closing down on the stick. And I do believe that it contributes to tensing up the elbow, which affects low blocker saves. Again, this is all preference and what works for me. I keep the 27 inch stick and I shave it into almost like a honeycomb shape. And I probably lose, like I mentioned, about one to one and a half inches shaving it down because my hand will slide down the paddle a little bit more with the new shape contour, but I think it's worth it. I also sand and round all the corners because if you just cut it, just like here on this Hyperlite stick, the corners are gonna be big, they're gonna be sharp, they're gonna dig into your hand, and the only way to fix that is gonna be by adding 10 pounds of tape to cover and smooth it off. So I shave it down, I round the corners, and then I put a little bit of tape over top just so I get a nice finish and a nice feel that I want because obviously I'm shaving off any of the grip potentially on the stick. And then right here, I just put on a little bit of Howie's hockey tape, grip tape, white tape, simple as that, and boom, you're off and you're rolling. This idea was inspired by Sergei Bobrovsky. I know he shaves his stick down just like this to about a 22, if not a 22 and a half inch paddle. Keep in mind, he is about six feet, six foot one. And I went to a Florida Panthers game about a year and a half when I saw his sticks at the team store. It got me inspired. I did it to my sticks. It works perfect for me. And that's what got me to do it. If you want to see the full tutorial on how I do all this stuff, I have a video, how Sergei Bobrovsky shaves his stick down. I'll put a link in the video description. You can check that out for the full tutorial. Hack number three is rounding the toes. Now I couldn't find really any examples of other pros that do this except for Garrett Sparks, but I was talking to him the other day, and we both agree that when you round the toes of the blade, it makes it easier for pulling pucks off the boards to get them into a position to play the puck more effectively and a lot faster. Now, Sparky only does the bottom of his blade. I do the bottom and the top. I just think it's another tool in the toolbox for me to have to have both sides done like that. You could argue that maybe if you're diving to make a paddle save, you lose a little bit of coverage by shaving down the toes. I don't make many of those diving paddle saves, and even if I do, the chance of me making them are slim. I do a lot of puck handling. I want every touch to be good. I want to put it in a good spot for me to make a good play, to put it to my D-man or whoever I'm passing it to, to get them into a good position, and we break out of the ice. So that's why I like to round my toes personally. Both shaving the paddles down and rounding the toes. I have a template that I started with. For example, here of Sergei Bobrovsky stick cutout. I got this from a KHL goalie, I think two years ago that he sent it to me. I try to trace it out. I cut that out. I mark it down on the stick. Then I have my friend here, Brett, He's using a jigsaw. We cut everything along those guidelines so we don't make any mistakes. Then we then use a sander to sand down the paddle and sand down the blade so everything is smooth. Like I mentioned, it's not gonna be digging into my hand, cutting my hand up over the course of ice times over the season. This does technically void the warranty of any stick, but I haven't had a single issue to the date where warranting the stick has been denied because I shaved the paddle down and the rounded toe. Most sticks break of the shaft nowadays, so for them to deny a warranty claim for that, it'd be like me bringing a car into the dealership and them saying they can't fix my motor because I tinted my windows. It doesn't really make any sense. Now, on the other hand, you could do what they call a trigger grip cuddle, which apparently Bauer is now offering a custom. It's called the Linus Olmark grip. By the way, 
I, I do find it a little bit restricting though on the hands. I don't actually think that the trigger grip resolves the problem that I'm trying to solve here with deflecting pucks and low blocker saves. But if you're ordering custom Bauer Hyperlight mock, or whatever they have in the future, the Linus Ulmock grip is a custom option. And I mean, if you have any stick at home, you could take it out, get a saw and cut it out yourself. Now, personally for me, but it is an option. Hack number four is taping your stick. I've played around with many tape jobs over the year. I've documented them on videos from just taping the toe of the blade to one third of the toe. I've tried the Tim Stutzla. By the way, this has absolutely no purpose. It's just a style move, at least I think. All the way to taping the whole blade, I found that somewhere in between works for me, and here's why. Maybe taping half of the blade or a little bit more is best because I like to have no tape on the heel because when I go to shoot or pass, I transfer the puck from the heel to the toe. And I believe that no tape on the heel allows the puck to gain momentum as it rises the blade on my stick. And when it hits that second half of the blade with tape, it gets more grip, it gets more control. And I have the speed of the puck coming off of no grip. And then I have the control of it hitting the tape. I think that gives me the best power and the best precision. If I'm gonna pinch, I wanna fire that puck off fast. I don't wanna throw any ducks. I wanna make sure it's on the tape. I'm not causing any problems for myself or for my team. On the contrary though, I do believe that it does compromise deflecting pucks a little bit because I get less control on the heel without any tape, but I make more touches and stops behind the net. Then I make stick saves over the course of the game. So that's where I stand on that. And that's why I chose that option. Um, you do have the option now. This is something new, I guess, for 2022. Um, I have tried ResTech, which is a blade grip slash tape alternative. It's good, very similar to tape uh, and durable in the few skits that I did use it. I just don't like that it only comes in black because I like the white look so I can see pucks hit off the tape. I like to see me making saves. I've also used the butt ends Pitbull, which I like the feel of it, but it's a player specific grip. It's not actually designed for goalie blades. As you can see here, it doesn't even cover most of the blade anyway. So once they create one in white and that covers the full blade, I'm sure I'll try it and maybe make the switch full time to that. I think that would be great. And the final hat that I have for you is something that I've been using on my sticks for over seven years now, and it's called butt ends. They're a grip for the shaft of the stick. And I found that the feel grip and control that I get on pucks is 10 times better than tape. I also love being able to just put it on my stick. It lasts all season, so it's not like tape where it gets slimy, it gets gross, and I have to retape it every single week. They're reusable, and I do believe that if you cost it about two grips over the course of the season versus tape, I think you will actually save money, a good amount of money on two grips versus tape, as you see on the screen here. I was testing a paddle grip for butt ends about three years ago, called the Lion. I probably shouldn't be talking about it, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. It wasn't durable enough to bring the retail, but I, I seriously wish that we could have made it work because it had great feel, and so many companies just can't nail grip on their sticks, specifically on a paddle of their composite sticks nowadays. So if Butt Ends was able to come up with a line grip, that would have been awesome, but maybe they'll bring it out sometime in the future. But if you ever do want to pick up a Butt Ends, they have white and black options right now. Same kind of style as Jonathan Quick has. Something that I like to mix and match with my grip sometimes as well. There's a link in the video description and the promo code TRAVSUCKS. Check out, we'll save you 10% off your Butt Ends skin. Link in the description. 10% off, code trap sucks. So there you have it, my five best hacks and tips for goal sticks. I'm curious if I missed one that you think that I should know about. If I did, leave it in the comment section below. And I'd love to hear from you. If you ever have any questions, you need any help, you ever wanna talk, you can always reach me on Instagram or TikTok as well, as you see here on the screen. I wanna say thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this video and you want more. And I'll see you next time.